I am Tiffany Bloxham and I am here to do a book talk about a realistic uh, historical fiction piece that most of you are probably familiar with, either through reading it or maybe uh, watching one of the uh, movies. There's been a few about this particular story and that would be Jane Austen's Pride and Prejudice. Um, I think that it, the story is a great story and it's a classic and it's so great and it's so classic that it was turned into a baby lip primer. So if you've never seen any of these baby lips, you need to, to also Google those as well. But this one is about Pride and Prejudice and it's a, a number primer. And so it uses the story or characters most likely and then the places to kind of help, you know, little ones learn their numbers. So I own this one first and then when I have my, um, my first baby, I got this one too. So um, I think it helps visualize um, Austin's stories and characters. Um, so trying to make it brief, the uh, main story focuses on these five sisters, so uh, the, the Bennett sisters. Uh, Jane, Elizabeth, Kitty, uh, Lydia, and Mary, and they all have kind of different personalities, different strengths, different weaknesses, and uh, it really focuses on their relationships uh, with each other, but also with their parents and the friendships that they have and uh, primarily on getting them married. So when this was written, uh, it was very important for a female to get married and um, find her livelihood in that. Uh, how times have changed, but the, the part that's relatable is the relationships and the dynamics that happen through that. So mostly focuses on the, the girls, but there are two uh, gentlemen, Mr. Bingley and Mr. Darcy. And I would definitely say one of them represents um, pride in maybe a negative way and one of them maybe in a nicer way <laughs> um, and we see the sisters interact with these guys and we kind of see some predominant relationships um, between a couple of the sisters and them I'm not going to tell you who if you haven't read it or watched it you need to find out but basically what happens is we see there's not great communication in these relationships and misunderstanding because people have too much pride or and prejudice towards people due to either their family status or their lack of money or the opposite too much money so the whole story kind of follows these these girls and the decisions that they make and they focus mainly on the protagonist uh, Elizabeth Bennett and kind of the path that she walks and it's a, a great story because you have these moments where you're just biting your nail like what is she gonna do and what is he gonna do and oh my gosh did that just happen so there's suspense there's drama there's intrigue uh, and like most stories you need a really great um, relationship plotline to kind of follow and this one has a few so it's well worth the read it's a long one I mean I had already started it before the class because I kind of read through it periodically um, but it's worth it and then my, my last little tidbit is one of the neat things or maybe distinct things about this particular story is money and specifically how does it play a role in revealing these characters' um, identities kind of to each other. So specifically 10,000 pounds a year, I'm not going to tell you how or why, um, but as an economics teacher that is important and it kind of plays a role in uh, changing people's views and understanding people's actual character. So read it. I recommend it. It's a great read. Thank you.